TacoMaster Analytics. The analytics utility gives users of all levels summarised totals of all available driver infringement and duty levels. As a user, you can filter all your data by the criteria you choose and drill down into sites, drivers, dates and more. The infringements by 1 million kilometres column gives you a standard judgement level. Sites, drivers, agencies etc are given a score which multiplies, or in some case divides, the total odometer readings to 1 million and works out how many infringements would be created based on those already incurred if 1 million miles were driven. To use the analytics tool from the TacoMaster website, click on the analytics menu item. The initial view shows a summary of all infringements and duty data for the sites you can see on your login. The initial date range is the last seven days including today. The top line of selection criteria allows you to choose how you want to display your data. The group by levels show what drill down options you require. Choose three group by levels. For this example, we will group by employee type, which could be permanent, agency or casual. Then group by site and then by driver. Change what date range you wish to view by clicking on the date range field. Choose the last seven days, current month to date, last calendar month, last three calendar months, or choose your own date range. Choose a start date and end date. Click Apply Settings to apply the chosen selection. The time taken to display your selection depends on how much data you wish to view. A week's data will display quicker than a year's. Once your data is displayed, a number of columns are shown. You can click on any column to order the data. First click displays the data by low values to high, Click again to display by high values to low. The first column, in this case employee type, is the first group by level you have chosen. You can click on the magnifying glass icon to drill down to the next group by level you have chosen. The next columns show the total number of infringements, then the total number of EU driver's hours infringements, working time directive infringements. The driver's hours and working time infringements add up to the total number of infringements. The drive column and subsequent time-related items show the summarised total amount of time for the specific duty mode, including work, periods of availability, POA, rest and duty total, which is a sum of work, POA and duty rest. By default, these time items show the number of days, hours and minutes. You may wish to show hours and minutes only. Click on the checkbox and apply settings to change this view total. The average lead-in total shows that for that group level, the drivers in that group average in hours and minutes a gap between the start of duty and the first full five minutes of drive. The average lead-out total is similar to lead-in, except it's the average time from the end of the last full five minutes of drive to the end of duty. The ODO column shows the total number of kilometres driven by that group of drivers. Shifts totals the number of shifts worked by the group of drivers in the period selected. The infringements by 1 million kilometres column looks at the total number of infringements for that selected group by level and based on the odometer total of kilometres driven multiplies or divides the number of kilometres to 1 million. The same multiplication formula is applied to the infringement total giving a score of the number of infringements that could be incurred should that group or driver complete 1 million kilometres. This then judges all groups or drivers by the same scoring system. If you click on the column header it will order that column low to high values. Click again and the values are displayed high to low. You can then see which groups or drivers have the highest infringement rate. This can be applied to each group by level. The second criteria allow you to be more specific on the data range you choose. You can add filters for site, agency, employee type and supervisor. You can then use these filters to allow more specific grouping. Should you require your data in a spreadsheet, click the Export CSV button and your browser will prompt you to save or open the file. A CSV, comma separated value or variable file, will open in Microsoft Excel or your chosen spreadsheet program. If you apply a group drill down by clicking on the magnifying glass, the Export CSV will report that specific data view. Please be aware that the data you can see is limited to your user level site access and you may not be able to use the analytics system if your administrator has applied a restricted user profile.